Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. We're here to do your love reading. Hello, hello. We are going to get started with Cancer in Love. Cancer in Love. What is the energy of Cancer in Love? Cancer, what are you worried about? What's keeping you awake at night? What is happening, Cancer? Nine of Swords energy in the recent past tells me that you're losing sleep over something, but there's a beautiful dove right here coming in to alleviate your worries and bring you peace. So something in your love life has not gone as you expected. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you want a new beginning. Good. This is beautiful energy. This is Aquarius energy. This is Gemini energy. So evidently, you are feeling a bit better than you did a few days back. The Fool card is all about taking the leap of faith. You know, just really having faith. And we have all these, we've had all this conjunction of planets uh, in Aquarius giving you a new beginning. <gasps> Look at this. You have new love coming in. Cancer. The Ace of Cups can always mean uh, a love returning. Uh, and especially with the world that we've experienced, a lot of times I'm seeing a resurgence is when people can really see each other and interact again how you view everything. You are doing well. So Cancer, that's not surprising. Cancerians are very, very good at uh, knowing how to earn money, how to save their coin. You're looking good. You feel good about the core of your life. You really do. You feel like you've created this beautiful foundation for yourself. Um, and now, you know, you want your love life to go as well. You feel really underwater. You feel like there's a lot you don't know about your love life at this time. There's a level of confusion. You don't know if a lover is being honest with you. You don't know why they have sort of done a disappearing act. You're not sure if they've done a disappearing act. That's the other thing. This is Neptunian Pisces energy. This is Virgo energy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous this is. The two of them came out together. What this says is that you are releasing all negativity and you are going, you are just going to choose this happiness. You are going to be surrounded by this almost a new life that you're creating. Look at, we have release, that Scorpio energy, Ace of Cups, new love, the Sun card and the Fool card. So if there is something that worries you from the past, something repetitive, or something that haunts you. However, the reality of where you're at right now looks as though cancer, you're moving in a beautiful direction, even though you feel vulnerable. Look at this. The What's hidden here, Cancer, is that you've had some sort of very, very successful cycle. And, you know, when we look at the world card, the world card is Saturn. You've done the work. And we see the snake that eats itself. And so it's where, as one door closes, a window opens or another door opens. But you're completing a very successful cycle in your life. So whatever it is, it's changing that has you worried, that has you feeling very vulnerable is not going to last very long because we see this beautiful just you know I'm just going to kick it I'm going to do what I can every day I get up I'm going to do my best and we'll just try to let this Neptunian moon card sort of figure itself out you're not going to get caught up in that space I think at night you might be having some dreams some telepathic messages of some sort, but I see this beautiful silver lining here for you with that full card. What do we see for uh, what spirit's advice is for cancer? The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This is also a card of reconciliation, having the clarity to, rec to recognize what the truth is. And it really dispels this, you know, this energy, Gemini, Pisces energy. So it does look like Spirit is going to give you the gift of clarity in the very near future. And that is going to help you start this new cycle. Wow, this is a beautiful beautiful reading of beginnings and happiness. Okay, so the outcome card short term here is the Eight of Swords. So right now, 
you're spiritually trying to get yourself into this happier place. You know, the Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. So you've, you know, you've decided not to act on something until you know more information is what I'm seeing. But within your own being, you look like you're really doing some work here to, to respond to life in a happier way, to feel more optimistic. What you don't know, you don't know. And you're sort of, you're letting that go, although you're also not taking action. So the clarity here comes with the King of Cups energy. So there is a King of Cups energy in your life Cancer, Scorpio energy that has not told you how they feel. They have not, you know, I feel as though almost they've disappeared. We also have Queen of Wands. So here you are, I feel very much in this, you know, this Aries energy, like, you know what, I'm just going to go forward. I want my new beginning. I don't know what this person is doing, but look at what we have here. An Ace of Cups, which is a new offer and love coming in, which is substantial. Excuse me one second. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we see this offer and the Wheel of Fortune fell out with it. So we see a beautiful offer in love. The timing is right. So timing may have something to do with the King of Cups. But you, we see this very energetic energy that you are embodying of moving boldly forward. So the fire sign energy is Aries. And it's all about I am and I am taking action and I'm going to have a new beginning and I'm going to define my own life regardless of what my love life is sort of, you know, whatever page my love life is on, I'm not going to let it, you know, unravel my happiness. I'm going to let go of negativity and I'm going to be happy. But you're also not taking any action. You're letting love come to you. Oops, there we go. That was a flyer that went flying out. All right. We have the King of Swords energy. So that's your embodiment. You know, you're just really, swords are all about truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. This king is not really holding his sword upright. This king is very relaxed. So you're very relaxed. Other people would never know that you're going sort of through this period of time in which you're questioning love and what's going to happen in love for yourself. What's in your heart space here? Why is the moon card here? What's a clarifier for this moon card for the heart space of our Cancerians? Oh, you are very much feeling very romantic. Pisces energy, both of these are Pisces cards, so you may be dealing with a Pisces, but it also means, you know, just the sheer dreaminess that there is somebody in your life, and again, we have water sign energy, um, that there's somebody in your life who gave you a bit of romance that left you wondering what happened because we see that it looks like there could be there's there's likely no contact at this point so cancer let's look and see what you're releasing and the cards are flying out all right here we go you are releasing success in the past you are recognizing that you've had great happiness and love that this particular relationship at one time was gave you an incredible amount of joy and happiness you, you would want to have it again Oh, and look at that. You are manifesting it again. Look at that. That beautiful Empress energy, Taurus energy uh, speaks so well. When we look at manifestation, this card is very important because it's Venus. It's manifesting money and love because it's Taurus energy. And the planet Venus rules Taurus and Taurus rules money <laughs> and security and everything that we adore. But we can see that she's already manifested this beautiful baby, um, so to speak, whether it be a creative project or whatever she wants to manifest. Uh, just because it hasn't appeared yet on the material plane, it's on the material plane in her belly. So you you have you definitely have this beautiful energy that is attracting to you people from around the globe. For anybody who is on social media or has an international presence too with that world card there, you are perceived as being quite lovely. So it really speaks to the happiness that's coming in in your life. Look at the strength card on the world card. So it says that, you know, you have all this, you're 
bringing in an abundance of strength, you know, through eternity. There's some work in the world that you want to do that's good with this Aquarius energy. You may be trying to lift the spirits of people in some way or another. The hanged man is the advice of spirit. And how beautiful is that? The hanged man is really saying, you know what the truth is. And just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't happen. It's saying look at things from a different perspective. And you are going to manifest. It's the cards are definitely saying that. And and it's really beautiful because you have this very sort of beautiful spiritual energy, you know, enlightenment from looking at things from a different perspective. And actually not taking action is the advice of spirit. And here you are. You're choosing not to take action because that is self-imposed restriction. So what is the outcome? Why is the Eight of Swords here? for the outcome. Why is the Eight of Swords here? What's the meaning of this? Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful energy. Eat, drink, be merry. This is wish fulfillment. It's a fairy godfather, godmother of the uh, tarot deck. And, and I find it to be very significant. It always lightens the burden. It always allows the happiness to come out, even in bleak moments, even in moments of insecurity. So we also have two other cards that fell out. Look at this. Your happiness will be found in a relationship with somebody with whom you share similar values. Both of you are very traditional in many ways, and yet your relationship itself is not traditional because we see the surfboard, we see you taking a risk, we see the possibility of an age difference in a relationship. And it's so interesting to me now as a reader because I'm beginning to see it more and more and the taboos are really falling to the wayside, which I think is very helpful. Love is love, and what we're doing now is we're connecting spiritually more with all the Aquarius planets. We have the King of Pentacles is coming in as that energy, and it, these just fell out. I, I wasn't looking to pull cards, but we're also getting the Hermit card. So right now, not taking action is very important. You are going to have fulfillment and love, and I'm going to put the Queen of Cups by the King of Cups. So there is a relationship that was very precious in which you shared a lot of love. And right now, again, it does not look like it is active, although with this Knight of Cups, with the Nine of Cups, with the, it looks like communication coming in. It looks as though you will hear from this person that you care about. And I don't feel like this is a separation particularly that, you know, you talked about or anything else. I just feel as though this is confusion about what, where the relationship will go for both of you, as well as just the circumstances in which we find ourselves. So let's look and see now. Let's clarify more about your mutual energy. Let, let's look at their energy, because we've seen a lot of your energy. So let's look at your person's energy. Why is this King of Cups, all this worry around this King of Cups and Queen of Cups? Oh, okay, fire sign energy. So there is a feeling that you might have that you have a competitor. Tell us about that. Am I reading that correctly? I am reading that correctly. Okay. So what we're seeing here is that you feel as though your person started a new relationship with the Queen of Wands. It, it also can be vice versa. It could mean that somebody was in a marriage and they started a new relationship with you. So, you know, depending on how the story reads for you, take it as it resonates. And here we go. Okay. So now we have both of you desirous very much. Your person sees you as their future. So whatever's going on in the relationship, it really speaks to the fact that they want to have you in their life. Again, we have the Hierophant, the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Whenever there's a lot of repeats, it really solidifies the reading. And it's also why I like to use two of the same deck in different sizes. The Five of Cups says that your person feels as though they owe you an apology. That the timing is right now to come in it's the right time to come in and offer you that apology, Cancer. 
Why has this person been so aloof? They're watching you from a distance, though. Look at that. You don't see this, but it's just, it's very clear that your person's watching you. And probably in some way, your work. And if you work on the internet, it looks as though they're definitely trying to learn more about you. All right, so let's see what this is about. What is this about? The King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords over here? The Three of Cups. The two of you are very good friends. The Three of Cups with the Ace of Coins can be an engagement. Um, well, it can be an engagement. So they see you as a best friend. What else? Tell us something else about how this person sees you. Oh, look at this. The lover's card. The lover's card. Soulmate card. And the chariot card. Cancer. Here you are in your own reading. Very powerful energy. They see you as a person who's always a go-getter. They see you as a person who, no matter what, can keep their emotions stable. They see you as a person who's a best friend, a lover. Wow. This is gorgeous. I love this reading for you. This is happening as I'm doing these, you know, as I'm doing the reading. This love is getting to the point where it's bursting. It has to manifest. Very interesting. Four of Cups says that your person is very, very unhappy without you. The Four of Cups is clarifying the Moon card. They need to make a choice. Your person needs to make a choice about what they want for their future. What what do they want their life to look at, look like, excuse me. And when we see this person needing to make a choice, we see the choices between, you know, whether it's a queen or a king or a king or whatever. But we see this person at a crossroads in their life. They need to make a choice. They are choosing to be happy. There's a surfboard, a VW van, a world, a globe. We have the globe here repeating, and we also have the surf as your outcome. So I feel very much, Cancer, that you represent, um, you represent to this person somebody who is very emotional, but also very well grounded. They see you as a beautiful potential for their future. And look at what just popped out. <laughs> <laughs> we have the beautiful surfer yet again, the three of wands, the three of wands. They dev they see you as their future, two of wands to the three of wands. My ships have come in. I didn't know what to decide. I've made a decision. And, and with that decision comes the manifestation because the two of you already care for each other. Why is a judgment card here? The Four of Coins, okay. So you're holding back from this person, and this person's holding back from you. Both of you are protecting your hearts. But the judgment is you release them, and now they are left to their own devices. This is, this is Capricorn energy. They're feeling the difficulty of being without you. They're feeling this, I need to cover my heart. You know, Cancer is not really chatting with me. I know Cancer loves me. I know Cancer, if I texted Cancer, Cancer would respond. But Cancer's over here looking away. She's looking, you know, this beautiful Empress card, this Venusian, Vesuvian energy is, is very much looking at the future. And that's what a belly is about, right? If you have a baby, it's about your future. So we see that your person is working on their money with the King of Coins. That is, uh, you know, Taurus energy. Taurus energy. So this person has a very strong value system, Cancer, that they really will not deny. But they are feeling the pain of missing you, and we can see that. As this person looks into the future, you know, they're feeling as though living without you would make them feel, it's sort of a poverty mindset. It's like, I just have to hold on to what little bit I have of my memories of cancer because I'm not sure cancer wants me back. Okay, let's see. The world card. Yep, here we go. So a decision has to be made. We have this Ace of Swords. Um, it looks as though the Justice card can be a marriage license. The Justice card is balance. But it's all about what's hidden here in this energy is that both of you would like to start a new cycle that's very balanced. We have the Infinity Symbol. The Infinity Symbol really speaks to the fact, and you know, when we look at the 
Ouroboros snake, or I can't ever remember exactly the pronunciation, but we say we see that you know where the snake eating itself, meaning that where the tail begins, you know, it's like a new beginning, which is the meaning of the world card. And so what we see here is that your person and what's hidden here is that balance and justice is going to come into play. That the outside world of the mundane, you know, the things that happen in daily life are very much a part of what's going to occur between the two of you. A decision will be made with the two of wands, you know, down here. The two of wands. Your person is going to make a decision. There's manifestation of the happiness between the two of you. This decision is going to be a whole new successful cycle between the two of you. The Justice card is often the initiation of any legal paperwork. It's, it's marriage licenses, it's divorce papers, it's buying a home together. It's all of those legal kinds of connections that people form through paperwork in their relationship. Hence, giving the possibility of a home or traditional relationship. Well, that was a little long-winded. Sorry about that. <laughs> so let's see what is, what spirit, why is spirit giving you the advice not to take action? Look at things from a different perspective. You know what the truth is. You know that this person loves you and that, you know, the hermit card is the search within, the enlightenment. Oh, wow. Okay. So Spirit is really saying, when the time is right, action will be taken. Now, who will take that action? We have a Knight of Swords energy here. Who will take that action when it's when the timing is right? The world. Okay. So we have the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune. So when we look at this, the person, your person is going to come in with an apology very quickly and you'll have clarity very immediately. Why do we have the Eight of Swords here from the perspective of your person? The perspective of your person. Why is the Eight of Swords here? They feel as though you might not want to talk to them. They do have confidence, however, that you love them. They, do, they definitely feel the Six of Cups Scorpio energy here. Your person feels very much that you love them, that you care about them. And so what action will they next take in this situation? What is their next action, if any, spirit? Yep, oh, here we go, Virgo energy. Walking slowly towards you and walking slowly into the future. So let's look and see what whispers of love have for you. What is the advice for Cancer? This is really a story about two people who are in love trying to decide how to be happy and how not just to serve the needs of everyone around you. You're both very, very responsible people. Spread some quality, oh, spend some quality time together. It is impossible that we spend quality time with one another in significant relationships without listening or talking to each other. So I read that a little bit incorrectly. It's basically, it's saying the importance of spending quality time together is very significant because without it, you know, you just don't have that understanding. You need to talk, you need to listen, you need to really make time for each other. And I see both of you very busy because we have the, the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Both of you are very career oriented. You know, you have this, all this energy here that says that you do well for yourselves. You're both very successful out in the world on your own as you are together. It says, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledging this as truth. So, Cancer, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And uh, leave comments, like, subscribe, share. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much.